Okay. Yeah, this is the this is the tungsten carbide reference spindle. Yeah. It and, is. All right. And and this one is the standard um, SG1 bearing housing. Uh, high copper content phosphor bronze, solid, machined, and if I hold this maybe up and you go into the bore, you may see the finish inside the bore. Maybe can you can you see it in there? Yeah, you can. A little just bit, a yeah, bit. A little yeah. Bit yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Reflections. And uh, this is the tolerance on this is between two to three ten thousandth of an inch. You can't actually even feel any play uh, okay. between the two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Yeah. The 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 cup that holds the tungsten carbide ball screws onto the bottom, and once it is in position and and tightened, yeah, it creates a seal. It's machined in one operation so it's all concentric mm -hmm. and you only have the very small gap on the top and this is without oil without anything <laughs> okay yeah? okay yeah and that is the, the the tolerance here yeah without oil yeah it's it's as i said between two to three ten thousandth of an inch yeah yeah now if you take the same spindle and Use exactly the same geometry, but a reference bearing housing. Mm -hmm. This one, again, the inside would, be, would have been made to similar, fi same finish, but a little bit better. The tolerances are better, and the straightness of the hole and the roundness of the hole is better. Okay. But you're talking in less than two ten thousandths of an inch. So you're not talking big sizes. And if you use this one and see how, how it works, it's about the same. And you can hardly feel any play at all on there. Yeah. Right. With, with naked eye, hands, etc., you would think this is the same. However, same geometry, bearing cup, same tungsten carbide ball. And when this is done and mounted, yeah. this will create the same seal. Yeah, but this time, have a look at this. As this, yeah. It's turning. It's turning. It's, it's turning. Oh, no. yeah. I yeah. Just yeah. To... Oh, it's turning around. Yeah, it is still turning. It's hanging and turning. Yep. What? So it's hanging on uh, air. On air. Yes. Amazing. Yes, and you can see how much that. One ten thousandth of an inch to two ten thousandth of an inch can make the difference between the two. The standard bearing is already probably the best bearing on any turntable anywhere in the world. Okay. This one is something different. Mm, okay. Something very, very different. So that's the easy way of proving. Exactly. Of, of uh, how to and the prove same it. thing applies with the with the platter it's, uh, with the. Best, uh, it's, and that is where the money the goes, others. not big pillars that are made in God knows where and just painted or anodized or something. That's where the money goes. I see, okay. And that's where the performance so, comes. So, so this is for the... This is Formula One standard. Yeah, and then also, also, the, standard. So also the novice, as I understand it. Yeah, any, anybody can, can understand it. Mm. Okay, yeah. I can finish and it. And once you, once you have... Uh, yeah, actually, yes, of course. Once you have the...